हेलो फ्रेंड्स प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन डेप्रिशिएशन दे कंज्यूम अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम व्हेन डन थ्रू ट्रेडिशनल मेथड ट्रेडिशनल मेथड इज गुड फॉर क्लासेस एट्थ एंड अबव एट स्कूल लेवल बट इन कंपटीशंस यू नीड सम शॉर्टकट्स अप योर स्लीप्स सो दैट यू कैन सेव टाइम बिकॉज इन कॉम्पिटिशन्स लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन हैव टू बी आंसर्ड इन लेस अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम so i'm going to take up uh, one or two basic problems of depreciation and i'll try and uh, solve that through uh, through the traditional approach also and through shortcut also so whatever approach you feel comfortable you can adopt that in exam so the first question which i'm going to take up is a very very simple and basic question the value of a bike bought at a cost of rupees 1 lakh is depreciating at the rate of 10% per annum now you have to find its value after 9 years now first of all we will try and solve this through the traditional approach in the traditional approach v0 stands for the initial value which in this case is given as rupees 1 lakh and the rate of depreciation r so i'll write everything here rate of depreciation this is given as 10% per annum so we need to find the value after a particular amount of time in this case it is 3 years so value after 3 years so for finding the value after 3 years we use the formula initial value multiplied by 1 minus rate of depreciation upon 100 because it is in percentage so upon 100 and raised to the power of the number of years that is the time in this case it is 3 years so if you adopt this formula this will be 1 lakh into 1 minus 10 upon 100 raised to power 3 so 10 cancels out thereby giving you 1 lakh into 1 minus 1 by 10 power 3 which is 1 lakh into so this is 10 minus 1 9 so 9 upon 10 whole cube so you have to solve this now by writing 9 upon 10 3 times and then cancelling out three zeros and now you have to multiply if you know 9 into 9 into 9 it is 729 so there are two zeros here so 72900 is the answer of this problem now friends this is the traditional approach of solving this question but if you are well aware of the shortcut for finding percentages orally then this question can be solved through a simple shortcut now see we don't need to calculate using this formula in competitive exams mind you i am telling the shortcut for competitive exams not for school level now see the initial value is 1 so if you are able to calculate 10% of the initial value orally then this shortcut will work for you but if you have problem in finding 10% or 5% whatever percentage is given in the question orally then shortcut will be a little bit difficult now see after one year how much amount is depreciated uh, the depreciated value will be calculated by subtracting 10% depreciation now 10% of 1 lakh is 10000 so after one year so this is after one year the value will be 1 lakh minus 10000 that is 90000 so let's do that again so this is after two years now you have to find 10% of 90000 so just remove one zero 9000 will be reduced 
So 90,000 minus 9,000 will give you 81,000 as the value after two years. Now see these are the depreciation, depreciated value after one year. This is the depreciated value after two years. So we have three years here. So let's do that one more time. Again remove one zero. So 8,100 is to be subtracted. So this value will come after three years. And if you subtract 81,000 and 8,100, you will get 72,900, which is the exact answer which we were looking for in this question. So friends, these are the shortcuts you need to master. So this was the first question. Let's see the second question now. The value of a TV bought at, at a cost of rupees 8,000 is depreciating at the rate of 5% per annum, you need to again find the value of the TV after three years. Now again the traditional approach, initial value is rupees 8000. Rate of it, uh, rate of depreciation in this case here is 5% per annum. So you need to find the value after three years. So what will be the formula? It will be V0, 1 minus R by 100 raised to power 3. So now substitute the values, 8000, 1 minus 5 upon 100 raised to power 3. So this will be 8000, 5 cancels out 20 times. So 20 minus 1 is 19. So 19 upon 20 raised to power 3, which will give you 8000 multiplied by 19 upon 20. 19 upon 20, 19 upon 20. So see the amount of calculations here. So three zeros cancel out. And 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. So again 8 also cancels out. Thereby giving you 19 into 19 into 19. Which have to be now multiplied. If you know the square of 19, it is 361. And now you need to multiply it by 19 to get to the final answer which will be rupees 19 was the 19. So we have one carry. So 19 fives are 95. So 114 plus 115. So 11 carry. 93 is a 57. 60, 68. So 6859 is the depreciated value after three years. Now this is the traditional approach. Now let us do this through shortcut. Now this is 8000 initial value. How much we need to subtract? 5%. See, 10% is 800. So, 5% is half of that. So, 400. So, just subtract 400. You get 7600 as the depreciated value after one year. Now, go for it for the second time. See, if you remove 10760 is the value. Uh, that is 10% value. Half of that is 380, so you need to subtract 380 now. So subtract 400 first, 7200 and add 20. So 7220, that is the depreciated value after 2 years. And finally, how much we need to subtract? 722 is 10%, so you need to take half of 722, that is 3, 6, 1. And now the depreciated value will be obtained by subtracting 7220 and 361. This is 9, 5, okay, 8 and 6 which is the exact answer which we got through traditional approach. Initially this shortcut might seem to be a little bit complicated for you because a lot of practice in finding the percentages have has to be uh, you know mastered first only then you can use this shortcut but once you are aware of those methods of finding the percentages then this method will work out wonders for you i'll give you one more question for practice this is question number three for practice you can try this out using both the approaches and after that we will continue this in the next video so this is question number three for you Let's have the initial value V0 given as rupees 24,000. The rate of depreciation 
now is 20% per annum and you need to find the value after okay I'll, you can find after 2 years, 3 years, 4 years so I'll give you after 4 years so that 2 and 3 years will be very easy for you so you can try this out and post your comments in the comment section I shall reply to your comments master this skill first then we shall continue with the subsequent parts of this important topic so if you have liked this video do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel